Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover mean, median, mode, and range. Now these help us when working with data. They provide us with more information about our data and help us better understand our data. So let's jump into our example and see exactly how to find mean, median, mode, and range. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is to order our data from least to greatest. For the example, it's already in order from least to greatest, so we're going to move on to mean, which is the average. Now we find the mean by adding all of the numbers up within our data, so we're finding the sum of the numbers, and then we divide by the number of numbers within our data. So the sum for our example here is going to be 753. So we added 72 plus 73 plus 79, so on and so forth, making sure to include all of the numbers within our data. So 753 is our sum. And then we divide by the number of numbers within our data. So let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 9 numbers. 753 divided by 9 is going to give us our mean. Now after calculating this, we're going to get a repeating decimal. So 83, and then we get repeating sixes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to round this to the nearest hundredth. So the hundredths place, let's look to see if we round up or stay the same. We round up, so our mean rounded to the nearest hundredth is going to be 83 and 67 hundredths. So let's move on to median. And I like to remember this one by thinking of medium. It kind of sounds like median, and medium is the middle size. And median is the middle number. So for our example, we have nine numbers within our data set. So the middle number is going to be the fifth one because we have four on the left of the number and four on the right. So for example, we have one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, giving us our middle number of 84. So the median or middle number is 84. Since we have an odd number of numbers within our data set, we're going to have one number sitting in the middle. If we were to have an even number of numbers within our data set, we're going to have two numbers sitting in the middle. If that's the case, find the average between those two numbers. So add them up and then divide by two. If you need more help with median, I added a link down in the description where I have more examples and I have an example of a data set with an even number of numbers. Let's move on to mode, which means we are going to look for the number that occurs the most within our data. So mode, most. I see within our data we have two 90s right here, one, two, but we have three 84s and then everything else just has one. So three 84s, 84 occurs the most. So that's going to be our mode. So 84 again. Mode is as simple as that, whatever number occurs the most. Now you can have more than one mode, for example, if we had 384s and then in our example we also had 390s, we can have two modes. We would have 84 and 90. But in this example, we only had one mode, which was 84. Let's move on to range. Now range tells us how stretched out our data is, so to speak, how far everything spans. We find the range by subtracting the smallest number from the largest number. This gives us how far apart those numbers are, and then the rest of the data is within that range. So largest number minus smallest number. Our largest number is 97. So 97 minus our smallest number, which is 72. 
this is going to give us our range. So 97 minus 72 is 25. So our range is 25. So there you have it. There's how you find the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. Now I added links to more videos about these topics down in the description if you're looking for more help or examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.